Hello everybody, my name's Dangerous, and I'm going to be bringing you episode number 3 of my Road to Perfection for Gears of War 3. And if you have not watched any of my other episodes, please go back and watch them, but this is what's happening. I have already played Clock Tower, and my friend who was sitting next to me giving me all kinds of tips and tricks is not going to be watching me on this one because our deal was he can only help me with one game out of each map. So seeing that I've already done this, this is just me playing straight up, doing what I think is best, and you can tell that I do not get as good of a score as before, but I still do end up going positive, and you know, that's pretty good for being my third time only playing Gears. So let's get this started. As you can see from the same strat as last time, I'm doing the smoke grenade to the boom. It ends up working out a little bit different. If I would have not got caught right there, I think it would have been a lot better. But here, he just downed me so fast, I have no idea how he got me that quick. But I guess it was just two solid shots, and then I went down. On the respawn again, I decide not to go for the boom, knowing that he has the boom, and there's no point to it now. I did not realize that he had actually died. But, this is where we're going to. We're going to a sniper. I make another bad decision right here. Again, I am still learning the map and it did not help that I was just a little bit too tired to be playing this game. I should have stopped and that is not a good thing to play when you are tired because it messes your thought process up. Overall, I do not feel this game was a setback, but you have to be really careful when you play when you're tired because you can, especially if you're new, end up doing something so wrong that it just, it feels like you should have done it and you just mess it up. So it, it just, it gets into a bad habit and you don't want to be in bad habits, especially when you're trying to get the outcome that I am trying to get, which is be a top player. Right there is a key example of really good communication on my part. I made sure my teammates knew that that guy was flanking from behind and I had a teammate right there just to shoot him and he was surprised instead of us. <laughs> you can tell again that I have completely missed the incendiary grenades. That is my third time picking them up overall, and that is still my third time not getting a kill overall, but like I said, I will eventually get a kill for you guys with those. It is just not apparently my weapon of choice. And here I see my teammate had the boom, and I figure he is probably out by now, seeing that he is not using it, so I run back up, knowing it's on respawn, and I pick it up and I start to use it for my advantage. And as you can tell, right here I check, I am 1 in 3, pretty disappointed about that. Um, I have not been negative in this series other than right now, and that kind of got on my nerves, because I want to bring you guys the best footage from a newcomer's perspective as I can. As you can tell, a little bit better on the shotgun battle on that one. I seem to hit more shots than I have, so at least that's progressing, and you know, that's all we can really ask for is a little bit of progression. I don't want to go up way too fast, so the series is way too short, and I honestly do not think I will get there fast enough, so this will be a really long series, and it should be very entertaining. But right here, this is exactly what I wanted to do, but man, I just end up missing him. I think he should have went down in my perspective, but he just seems to be taking so many shots, and as you will find out, it is the dude that killed me in the very beginning. Yeah. 
this is just me kind of messing with the ghost camera just kind of checking that out I haven't used it yet I haven't really died that much other than this game so it you know it gave me a perspective to kind of be able to tell where my friends need their support at and stuff like that right there I should have not pushed that I seen the guy down in the ball talk I should have not pushed it and not let him two on one move but again that is just a minor mistake just due to lack of experience right there I feel I should have killed him and the second shot I feel I still should have killed him but all in all I was just I don't think I was connecting with my shots whether it was me or whether it was my connection period I'm not quite sure but right there while I was dead I was curious of why I was not getting damage and someone told me to try an active just in case before the fight so that's what I ended up doing right here As you can tell, your actives are just ridiculous. I one shot down that guy from so far away. I'm not sure what that guy was doing. Right here, I end up getting this guy also. A little bit cleaner of a shotgun battle. Right here, I tried to pick him up a bit. As you can see, just barely, I picked up the ammo on accident. And right there, I almost stole that kill, but I looked away in a split second. I did not know he was down in time. Once again, I was tired, so, you know, that kind of came in effect. And as you see, after going 4 and 3 the first round, I ended up going 8 and 6. It is not 11 and 2, it is not 11 and 5, but I promised you guys I will give you all the footage for this. So there you go, me only going positive 2 on my third game ever, but it's still positive. I still won. And we still skunked them, so that's okay with me. Um, please go back and watch my other episodes. I will put some links in the description. I will put some links into this video near the end. So please go back and watch that. And I will talk to you guys in episode 4, which is coming really soon.